Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's me, Kevin, and we're back on my Baldur's Gate 3 Tactician Mode difficulty playthrough, my blind playthrough, and we just took down Catherick Thorm himself. Here he is, stripped naked because I took his gear. Um, he was possessed, I guess, by the god Merkel, and so we took out Merkel, which ended Catherick. And unfortunately, I thought maybe we would have a chance to save her, but our girl Isabel, we had to take her out. I don't know if we could have saved her. Maybe we could have, but she was a uh, she was a threat, so we had to like put her down. Anyways, I I believe this is the end of Act Two, and as I take this portal, we probably will kick off Act Three. So let's go. All right, so we're back. Let's talk to Gail. I can't help but feel like I've been fumbling in the dark for too long. And I've just had a lit torch thrust into my hands. What are you talking about? The crown. The one the Elder Brain was wearing. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I didn't even recognize it at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but... No matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. Okay. Back up a little. Why is this crown so important all of a sudden? You nearly killed yourself back there. Perhaps take a moment. I'm not so sure you're owed any favors just now. Let's, all right, back up a little. Why is this crown so important all of a sudden? That crown sits on our gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep, Sorceress Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. All right, is that in Baldur's Gate? Why would a Baldurian magic shop be the first place we look? So you just want to go shopping? Let's just get to Baldur's Gate first of all. All right, well, it sounds like, no, it sounds like an excellent idea. I think we should look into it. The only kind I have. Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sects are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. Yeah. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. All right, it sounds like we definitely need to go there. It's been a long day. All right, let's pull. Let's see. Rest soon. Yeah, I know. We definitely need to rest. Let's get on. So this this makes me think that the road to Boulder's Gate is clear. Is that blood? Okay. No, never mind. Anything else we do? I don't think. Oh, Withers is right here. What are you um, doing here, Withers? There are important matters to discuss. Okay. The shadows yet fester. The dead three united under cover of darkness. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Uh, okay. Forget that. What are you doing here, Withers? These abominations are soulless, surely. I'm not sure. Do all living things? No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. 
Until such time, be availed of my services. Be availed. I'm surprised to see you. Why are you here? Speak plainly. Isn't there more you can tell me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you seem to know a lot about the dead three. Yes. Bane, Lord of Darkness. Baal, Lord of Murder. Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder. I'm surprised to see you. Why are you here? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally cold. Okay. I want to manage my hirelings. I never looked at this. Very well. I would like to recruit. I would like to dismiss. Okay, we don't need any of that. All right. What path lies before me? Wait. Oh, I thought that was Gale talking. I was like, am I controlling Gary? All right. Is there someone right here? Oh, this is like my camp, I guess. Can we rest right here? We actually should long rest. You prevailed, my friend. Now your path takes you to Baldur's Gate. What? But I cannot join you. Out there, the curse still thrives. I failed this place. Now I must remain behind and stand watch over it. That doesn't make sense, dude. You have to come. I need you. This place needs me. I wish it were different. I truly do. As long as the curse remains, so must I. Wait, how was I supposed to lift the curse? This place is still cursed? All right, I'm looking on the mini map for anything else. There's still this hidden treasure thing that we can find. So, Halston left my party. Like, no one wants to be with me. <laughs> Dude, like, first Carlock, now him. I mean, I still have Will and um, Lazel and my main three. My main three they love me. All right, but let's long rest real quick before we continue on. All right, Will wants to talk. What happened to his dad, by the way? He got the tadpole, but we missed him. So let's see what Will has to say. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. The Absolute's cult has Ravenguard. Where will they take him? Worm's Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. All right. Um, Mazora said you can say what led to the pact in exile. It's time I know the whole truth. Yes, but first, a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? I'd give my life if it meant keeping the residents safe. As would I. And more. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the cult of the dragon made its move. Damn it. All right, we failed that roll. What's the cult of the dragon? I never heard of it. A religion devoted to conjuring the most evil of goddesses, the dragon Tiamat. A 10 day after father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. 
Will wants to show you what happened. All right, allow Will to share his memory with you. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. Hmm. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Surely Mizora doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? You took on 25 cultists on your own? I find that hard to believe. And what about your father, the Grand Duke? Surely Missouri doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mizora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Sacrificing your soul to save the city was a brave thing to do. And what about your father, the, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. All right. Well, that was the brave thing to do. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Is that how you lost your eye in the battle with the cult of the dragon? Uh, it was brave what you did for the city. I don't know that it was brave. Wait. I just know that it was right. Okay. Is that how you lost your eye in the battle with the cult of the dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. Damn. All right. We'll return to the subject later. I understand. All right. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. All right, well, let's go. So, Halson's truly gone? I'm not sure where he would be in here. I guess he's gone, dude. Did I not? So I didn't remove. So I didn't remove the curse. Now the curse is still here. Like there's some stuff out here I did not do. House with the flowers. 
We leave the heart of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. I already have allies. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Will there be anyone left when we arrive in the city? I will seek more allies in the city. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. Well, first of all, I didn't know they would lo leave my party. All right, well, the road to Baldur's Gate, let's actually just fast travel there. All right, let's go. The Absolute's armies are on the march and Baldur's Gate is their target. You're about to progress your adventure. Once you move on, you may not be able to return. Let's go. Catherick is defeated. The path ahead clear. You should be elated. The sight of the land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. Though however deep your pain, it cannot compare to Halsin's. All right. I don't know. I might have. I might have screwed up Act Two. I didn't really see an opportunity to remove the curse, but I didn't clear the map. There was a small chunk I missed and I didn't do anything with Halson, like in terms of his story. This guy's attire looks cool. He looks like a Final Fantasy character. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worms Rock is secure. And preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Whoa. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I hold us to the whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, 
But tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. So she seems to be the bigger boss of them. So we'll probably phase Gortosh before we get to her. It sounds like we're going to get ambushed. Potentially. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. Oh, there it is out there. What is it? Is this the ambush? Worms look out. Okay. The one sleep away. Uh, we're gonna have to definitely go travel through this, right? This kind of looks dead. And there is some light. Time to press ahead. Alright, I don't see anyone needing to talk. Who's this? Oh wait, it's Starin. Does want to talk. Where are they going? Oh, back to their rooms. Their their tents, I'm wearing. Let's see what a Starian's gotta say. The gate is closed. As is Casador. Casador and his right of profane ascension. An imperial soiree. Attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. And elevate him to an unfathomable station. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. Okay, we cannot let us start in get the power he wants <laughs> by the way this man there's that's a problem with this game obviously his dialogue is extremely low i remember in the previous video when we faced merkel and merkel started talking man his voice the effects they did in the sound design were awesome but it was also too low this game is having an issue with audio balance and audio mixing it sounds as if you envy him not a bad place to be we need to stop him yesterday we will kill him, but there's more to it. Think about it. It sounds like Casador, for all his evils, has gotten further than any of my kind ever have. He's on the verge of a miracle. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. So you'd kill to take that power from him? The others bound to the ritual? I don't know. Raphael said the black mass was lethally diabolical. I don't know if, I mean, Raphael, uh, no, no, we'll go with, so you'd kill to take that power from him? <laughs> What's a handful of the wretched servants? If they're anything like me when I was enslaved, they're all but begging for death anyway. He's probably not wrong. 200 years of shit, pure shit. I think I deserve something better. Bro, you have to you have to prove to me you're not full of hate. <laughs> He's just like nothing but hate. Freedom is not the same as power. A killer isn't worthy of respect. Don't get ahead of yourself. We don't even know if that's possible. Freedom is not the same as power. All I'm saying is let's be clever about it. If an opportunity arises for me to become a more magnificent bastard than I already am, why turn it down? Uh... Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Casador's front door. 
If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. Yeah, I'm not sure that sounds like a good idea, dude. Don't get ahead of yourself. We don't even know if it's possible for you to usurp the ritual. Well, the information will be useful. We'll find the other spawn. I'll go with that one. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Casadors change their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. Okay. All right, Gail doesn't need to talk. No one else needs to talk. So let's go to bread and get to the sitter. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the Dream Visitor's protection. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? I will, I will. Man, I don't know. When the moment comes, I'll do what's right. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. <laughs> Who's this? Zephyr Gishra Harakla? She's already kind of injured. We have to fight our way to the portal? Where was that? Up here? Oh, there it is. Fight our way to the portal. Escape the port three turns. Just one needs to make it?
under attack. They, what are these doing here? These are what we're attacking. We all have astral gravity. This is coming at us. What's up here? Oh, I have the magic touch. The path less traveled. Mm. Oh, come on, dude. How did... Is she gonna... Why is it telling me she can't reach? Oh. Another fight. I didn't see this one right here. This one's surrounded, so let's go for this one. Shall we cut and run? No, no, no. We can maybe finish this, huh? It's not over. Come to the skull. I need you now. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me just loop. All right, do I need a short rest? I think I need a short rest. Oh, that helped. The skull, come to the skull. They're trying to free them, I think. It's a mind flare. Why are we helping the mind flare? Guardian, help me. Their true form, the honor guard, a 
eliminate them. My forces are weakened by their assault. But with your help, we can turn this around. Destroy the guard. I will subdue their master. Detect thought. I mean, it's not going to work, is it? They're, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we need a 13 or higher. Bam! Detect thoughts. Can we? Will it work? Despite your best attempts yeah. to be subtle, the mind flares awareness is everywhere. You blunder in its presence like a walk pup learning to walk. You must be joking. I am telling you my thoughts directly into your head. But if you insist on taking a look for yourself, be my guest. existence to date could have prepared you for this. As the horror subsides, you are left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue the Githyanki. So he's telling the truth, huh? Happy. Now, join me. Fight. Join the mind flares. Mind flares fight. All right. Together, we can turn the tide. Woo! All level nines. I'm level eight. But they said we just have to beat them, right? There's one up here. Swords meet sorcery. Not enough. Hold on, where are we? Alright, Gail, move. Yes, of course. Does he make it? He, yes, of course, but doesn't do anything. She might knock me, knock him off now. I'll strike you down. This is, I just realized the health bar on this one is massive. Chief Orpheus, honor guard. That, isn't that the name of the tome? Like there was the, that name was on the tome I found. Hungry for the slaughter. Why? Oh, it's not his turn. I see. I'm ready. Uh. What should we do here? Oh, what? No, no, no! <laughs> That's unreal, dude. Well, since I'm here. Where do I go from here? He resonate punch. What does that do? This is a uh, monk. You can you can make an unarmed attack as a bonus action. Oh, that's what they received. It just did it did bludgeoning damage. Wow. Oh, dude, there's one right there. 
I didn't see that. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Wow. I might lose this right away. Does this wake them up from stun? No. This guy is gonna die soon. Nice. We'll make this one bleed. I think if, if I'm directly under them, can they even hit me, dude? Let's do this as a level two. Target's too far. Can I not move up anymore? I can't. Oh, wait, I can. elements where did i get this absorb elemental damage once per short rest take half damage from the next elemental attack targeting you and deal an additional 1d6 of that element type on your next attack okay so now i can do fire damage hold person great Man, you know what? Let's get. I should have made. I should have did this. Dominated. I need to try to finish that one. It has like an AOE attack. He's not gonna be, is he not gonna be able to move? Old person, can I help him? Can't be helped. How do you, he's incapacitated. How, how do I remove that? It can't be that he's literally just locked in there for 10 moves. There's got to be a way to free him. Where was that? Dude, where was that? It can't be like... Pause was hit for fire damage. 
Um, old person. Dude, you can't move. Take actions or bonus. Dude, you can't just literally be stuck in that, can you? Seems simple enough. He's still on hold. Okay, there we go. There we go. Never a dull moment. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wow. Alright, nice. They just get so many moves. How much health does it have? 17? We're gonna do a level 3. That should finish it. Of course not. 3 health. Bro, I have to finish this, man. Thank you. Balance now. It's like, it's like the Emperor can't lose. I know I'm gonna take a opportunity attack, but it's okay. Oh, and no, I didn't take one. But here we go. What, fools these mortals be. what is this person's health at? 31? We should start focusing up here. Of course. Still telling me path interrupted? We gotta, we gotta do that. Wait for the next turn.
Man. Oh, that was huge. I should, I was thinking, you know what? I'm not gonna push her off. I was thinking I should, but she's so close to death. Like, I mean, if I hit this, okay, well. I mean, she's gonna die. Mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. I mean, I kind of get it because remember, the dead three are using the mind flayers, right? They are controlling the mind flayers. So we are maybe temporarily friends. We, we kind of have to be because. These three are trying to conquer all of us. So like, it seems like mind flayers were like, you know, maybe lifelong enemies of everything else, right? But in this rare moment, there's something that is, that is trying to literally conquer and destroy everything, including the mind flayers. So who was once our enemy is now our friend to overcome this massive challenge. Ask again, who are you? I'm going to need a name this time. I always suspected you were the mind flare. Why did you are a mind flare? Why did you receive? Why did you deceive me all this time? I ask again, who are you? I'm going to need a name this time. Why did you deceive me all this time? It was necessary. Rare are those that would openly consider a partnership with a mind flayer. Even those who are on a path of becoming one. It's like I said before. I'm just like you. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. Are their eyes different colors? I serve the elder brain. The one you know as the absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me when I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillman. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield, the largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence, though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while, until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name 
was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Okay, I was wrong. Okay, it's not, we're not apparently teaming with the Mind Flayers. This guy is maybe truly different. Lord Gortosh was one of the chosen in the colony. All right, so you're going to tell me what this battle was about? How did you end up in here? That Gith Yankee and the Spear, who is it? Prince Orpheus, son of the first leader of the Gith Yankee. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, a usurper took her place. Vlacheth declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlacheth wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never was. They were close to breaking my home on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Damn, dude. Um, were you imprisoned here too? No. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prism. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside and found Orpheus. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. Okay, why did Orpheus refuse to a aid Blackith? I do not have the privilege of knowing the answer, but the consequences are clear enough. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead, but as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. What happens if we free Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion. A pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid. A sworn enemy, just like me. We are alike in other ways too. The more I talk to you, the less you seem like a mind flayer. I appreciate that, but this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel, but the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew on me. I realized that returning to my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid shape you've come to know. As an Alithid, 
I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. So if we kill the eld the elder brain, do they all become free minded like him? Like are the all the mind flayers basically just slaves, you know? And mind slaves that is and so when if we kill the elder brain they all can become like the emperor here um why do you say that i'm trying to avoid i thought you agreed to protect me i'm trying to avoid becoming a mind flayer i thought you agreed to protect me i believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the elder brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage oh. of the tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. Like evolve was like bolded there, in in slightly different font. So, yeah, what would that entail? I understand we're about to unlock perhaps the third tier in the illithid powers. You will be able to do things you never thought were possible. There will be physical alterations, what? Course, but only partial. You will retain most of your current form. I get tentacles as I see that the benefits outweigh any perceived loss. What physical changes? The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you. As I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well with the limited form you have. But you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? Damn, dude. We're doing it. I, I want to, I just kind of, I want to know what it does. Well, suddenly brave of you. I'll say that much. You continue to surprise me. Your mind is truly something special. Now, hold out your hand. Do as it says. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Eat it. Open your mind. Probe at the tadpole's intentions. I can't add anything. I think, do I have one inspiration? Boom. The tadpole screams for growth with painful intensity. It has been starved of life, of purpose. It welcomes your probing like a void waiting to be filled. If you let it, it will evolve you. Just as the emperor said. That's all I get to learn, huh? Drop it on the ground and stomp on it. Uh, do you just open it? You don't eat it, right? A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. You are exquisite. When your allies see what you can do, I hope you encourage them to try it for themselves. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. 
You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. Half a lithid. You have embraced Seramorphosis and become half a lithid. You can now unlock even more psionic powers. So let's go look at that right away. Because I have six to spend. Where are they? Okay, hold on. Where are a star in? There we go. The lit that actually you have deepened your sense of self and expertise in persuasion, deception, and intimidation checks. When an enemy within 18 meters targets you with a spell of a level that is lower than your equal to your or equal to your proficiency spell, you can use your reaction to nullify it. Black hole, create a point of intense gravity that pulls in all nearby enemies and possibly slows them. That sounds really good. Five more black holes can be summoned after the spell's initial casting. Afterwards, you must short rest. Wow. Fly to a target's position. My dude can do this, right? Wait, why is, or do I already have that? I was already given that, huh? Uh, mind blast spew forth a conical wave of psychic energy and possibly stun targets within Ooh, this this was so strong this is the ability they have oh my god that is very strong mind sanctuary sculpt a magical nexus that allows those within to take actions and bonus actions interchangeably sculpt a magical nexus that allows those within magical nexus to take actions and bonus actions interchangeably. So is it allows those within. So is this gonna create a bubble? And in, in that bubble, you know, bonus actions and actions, no matter what they are, are just turns, just things you have. You have discovered a marvelous adaptability within yourself. Spell slots, charges, and similar resources, resource costs for your next action or spell are removed. Spell slots, charges, spell slots, charges, and similar resource costs for your next action or spell are removed. So I could use, I could basically get another level four spell with this. Although is this going to take a turn? So it's like, I have to wait a turn, but then I get a free spell. Gobble up foes intellect, lowering their intelligence by one per turn and healing your wounds for five turns. Displacer B shape transform it to a displacer. Ooh, that was the uh, that is like the panther with the like tentacles that can displace itself and enemies and has 85 hit points. And I'm pretty sure these like these displacing itself, right? That has 85 hit points. I think it has to stay where it is, but it catches people in opportunity attacks and can maybe attack if they're in range. Fractured Psyche. Invade a target's mind and disrupt its defenses. The target's armor class is reduced by one for five turns. The target dies with its sight while its Psyche is fractured. You can cast Shatter Psyche on another target. Invade the target's mind and disrupt its... Dude, by two! Wow. The intelligence save. Which one was the one... I mean, I definitely want the black hole. Uh, we definitely want this. We're going to go ahead and unlock this. I get, I get deep in sense of self. More expertise in persuasion, deception, and intimidation checks. Uh, fly, we already were given. For my main dude, I think that might be good for my main dude. Create a point of intense gravity. I mean, like, I do want this, but this sounds like more like a Gale thing. All right, well, it looks like... It looks like I actually have to convince them. So it looks like I have to go back to convincing them. Because look, if I go to Astarian, he should be able to use this one, but he can't. So right now I had this one, right? So I get better stealth checks. I already, I got fly with this guy. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Because I kind of want others to have some stuff here. Like I'm thinking, like, of course, 
I'm thinking Gale. Man, I want Gale to have this, but he does have to learn all this stuff. I don't know. We'll we'll figure this out, but I'm not gonna do anything else for the time being. So let's loot and then go through the portal. All right, we're gonna try something here. I want to try to pickpocket him. Go to the city. Try out your new form. Enjoy. Uh, I can't do it. All right, hold on. We can probably still try. Oh, dude, he actually has really good stuff. I mean, this is better. All right, we just need a sprint for the portal now. Is he going to be mad at me? <laughs> We stole his potions and dipped. <laughs> All right, we're back here. So that portal is still open. So can we always go back? Do we automatically get a full rest from that? I'm the only one sleeping. So does everybody have their stuff back? We got the new powers there. Yeah, she has all her stuff. Okay, cool. So it's like a free long rest right there. No. All right, so we're... Oh, she wants to talk. Lazel wants to talk. Okay. Well, let's talk to Lazel and then figure out where we need to go. 